Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to create a basic animation within a game. Um, I've got a basic setup, and uh, I'm going to move through a, a basic uh, procedure for creating this animation. Um, if anyone out there has any tips, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, this is an area where I'd certainly like to learn more about myself. Okay, all right, so uh, let me talk about what I've got first. I've got a basic uh, plane that has collision on it. Okay, I've got a model, just a 3D mesh. Um, I've got a camera that's been parented to that model, so as we sort of move, okay, uh, the camera will stick with the model, and we're going to use that later just to sort of demonstrate that the animation works. Um, right now I've got some basic, you know, logic brick set up so that I can move the character back and forth by pressing two keyboard keys. Now, if you're unsure how to do any of that, you can watch, uh, I have a game tutorial on my YouTube channel where I talk about how to set all that kind of stuff up. All right, so um, what I've got here is I have a armature that has been added, all right, inside of a mesh. And this is a very simple armature, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down Shift and I'm going to right click the armature so it is a lighter color and then I'm going to hit control P to parent the uh, mesh to the armature and uh, I'm going to say okay set parent to and I'm going to use automatic weights for this alright and that's going to allow our armature now to control this mesh now a lot of times if you have a complex mesh and you try to set an armature structure to it using automatic weights, you'll get some deformities and it won't quite look right. You can select your mesh, you can go into edit mode, you know, and over here where the object properties are, you can select specific vertices that maybe aren't working or aren't assigned correctly. And over here on the right, you can assign different vertex groups and you can change the way those vertices behave. So if you see deformities after parenting an object to an armature with automatic weights, um, over here um, inside of our object um, data field we can sort of modify some of that so that's a good place to look if you're not happy with what happens after parenting okay so uh, I'm gonna go into um, object mode I'm gonna select my armature and here's uh, kind of an important point I guess is I can see the armature it's actually inside of the model um, that's because I have right down here I have x-ray checked all right and that allows us to see the armature through the mesh okay so I'm gonna drop into pose mode now and I'm gonna grab this and you can see that if I try to rotate it you know the mesh is gonna move with that armature after parenting it all right let's create an animation down here at the bottom I'm going to choose the dope sheet all right and I'm going to choose Action Editor down at the bottom like this. Okay, and this is where we're going to create um, our animation. Okay, so I'm going to start with one leg here. Okay, and I'm going to hit I to insert a keyframe. And it's going to be a location rotation keyframe, just like that. And we're going to start the first leg in this position. We're going to create a loop here. Um, I'm going to use uh, R to rotate, and I'm going to be very specific. I'm going to hit R. And I'm going to rotate it by, let's say, let's see how 40 works. 4, 0. Okay. Kind of extreme, but I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to move out down here 10 frames. Okay. And I'm going to uh, lock that rotation to this particular keyframe using I and then L-O-C-R-O-T. And you can see I've created two keyframes here. Then I'm going to move to frame 20 and I'm going to put it back. And I'm using specific numbers here because I want to create a perfect loop. So I'm going to hit R, and this time I'm going to move it back 40. So I'm going to type in negative 4, 0. Okay. And I'm going to lock it now, I. And I'm going to choose L-O-C-R-O-T. Okay. And as I sort of move through, you can see that we've got an animation that moves up and then back. All right. And as the character's moving, that's going to continue to happen over and over again. Okay. Well, let's do the other one real quick. So uh, I'm going to create another animation here. And this time, I'm going to hit R. And I'm going to move this one up, negative 40. And I'm going to start with the right leg up. Okay, so I'm going to hit I, and then L-O-C-R-O-T. 
and I'm going to move out to frame 10. And I'm going to move it back down now. R. All right, and I'm now moving it the opposite direction, so now the leg is back down. And I'm going to hit I, and I'm going to move it to L-O-C-R-O-T. And now I'm going to move out to frame 20, and I'm going to put it back at where it was when it started. So R, 40 degrees, okay, and I, L-O-C-R-O-T. Okay, so you can see now that as I move through this, we have just a real basic animation that goes 1, 2, 1, 2. All right. Well, let's move to my logic editor now. Okay. And I'm going to add a keyboard sensor. And I'm going to go and. And in this case, for the actuator, we are going to add an action right there. Okay. Um, we're going to choose for play, we're going to choose uh, loop stop. And okay, look, in the action editor over here, in our dope sheet, it has a name. It's called Armature Action. You can change that to be anything you'd like. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'll change it to Walk. Okay. And as I come back over here to my Logic Blocks under Action, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm now going to choose my Walk Animation. Okay. And you've got to choose your Start Frame and your End Frame. So in this case, we're going to start in Frame 1, and we're going to end in Frame 20. And that's what's going to loop. Okay, and that should do it. Okay, so for the key, I'm just going to make it the W key because that's the key I'm also using to move this model forward right now. All right, and I'm going to connect the dots. All right, I'm going to look through the camera. And if I hit P to play the game... Let's go into object mode and try it. There we go, P to play the game, and I hit W, you can see that that animation takes place within the game. It's not the best animation in the world, and you can see that I don't have it linked up right now to go backwards as well. But, uh, you know, simple animations like that, or any kind of an animation that's linked up to, um, and, you know, a sensor like a, a keyboard key, can be useful uh, when creating a game. So. That's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And once again, any comments uh, that may show up here, I'm, I'm open to. I'd love to learn more about this particular concept. Thank you for watching.